Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I am coming at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. In today's video, we're going to continue on with our What's in the Box series. And in today's What's in the Box, we're going to be looking at Flames of War Armored Rifle Platoon. It looks like it's going to be coming with five vehicles, all half tracks, and 14 infantry teams. Which is basically just saying every one of these here is a base and they're saying you get 14 bases worth of stuff. And we're going to look inside to see exactly what that is. Just looking at the cover though, it looks like you're going to get maybe a commander, a couple machine guns, a bunch of bazookas. Uh, looks like five stands of infantry and then it looks like a mortar. But we're going to have to take a look to see exactly what that is. All right, now Battlefront is the miniature company here, the company that makes Flames of War, and they make a miniature line for their game. They do it in 15 millimeter or 1 100 scale, and it looks like exactly what I said is exactly what you're going to get. You're going to get the five half tracks, the five bazookas, two uh, machine guns, a unit leader, a mortar and five rifle teams. Uh, it looks like your ha the M3 half tracks look like you have an option of what kind of winch goes in the front, not winch. And then uh, on the machine gun, you can go 30 or 50. Uh, that just depends on, I think, the time period or the era. Uh, okay, it looks like you're gonna get five half tracks, five crew sprues. So all these guys in the back, we're going to get five of those sprues. Uh, 14 infantry teams. Well, that's not really, I don't consider that 14 infantry teams. Uh, you get a decal sheet. That's good. And four unit cards. All right. So let's open this up and see exactly what you get. All right. We'll set that off to the side just to keep it out of the way. All right. looks like you get quite a bit of stuff. You get these half track sprues. Uh, looks like you're going to get five identical sprues there. I would assume you're going to get five identical sprues there. And one of each, you need one of each of those to make a half track. Uh, oh yeah, here's the, okay, hold on now. Here's the armored infantry, and then this would be the five tank, or I should say half track crew sprues. Uh, let's get them out of their baggies. Um, I appreciate that they put them in these Ziplocs to help protect them. Uh, something I'm noticing right away, uh, this is not the new... ABS soft plastic. This is the polystyrene hard plastic. This says 2013 on this. Uh, and this says U.S. Army Rifle Platoon 2013. So yeah, these are the molds back when 2013 they were doing the hard plastic. They still look really good. Okay, so they're not the soft ABS plastic. Uh, there are bases here. Uh, you should get one base for everything that they anticipate you putting together. Um, you also get a few plugs. Uh, the plugs I find uh, are hard to come by um, and they're great for putting together uh, machine gun teams because you can plug the hole under the machine gun when you lay the machine gun on there because norm or two holes because it's a uh, a three figure stand usually I'm not sure about these I'll have to take a look um, and you might see that uh, these have a slightly darker tint to them. Uh, I think they 
went through a couple of different uh, browns for their bases. Uh, there's the three figure and there's the two figures. These are probably all the bazooka teams and the command team. And then the rest of these are probably all four figure bases. They are. Get one for the mortar, two for the machine guns, and then five for the infantry. That's exactly what you get. Okay, now these are randomized, uh, but I do believe that there are 12 varieties of patterns. Uh, and like that's pattern nine. That's pattern one, uh, no, I'm sorry, 10. So that's pattern 10. Uh, this is not pattern 10 because you can see that that one's slightly forward and that one's slightly back and these are parallel. That's pattern 11. And I, just looking at this, matching that, I would say this is also pattern 11, yeah. And so is that, you got a lot of 11s. But I, I, I like the, the wedge pattern, that's one of my favorites. And I like using this pattern for my mortar teams because I'll put the mortar there and then I'll put the two crew back here and then the extra guy off to the side. All right, so let's take a look at what you get inside this zip lock. Looks like you get your decals and the cards uh, it says you get four unit cards okay so it looks like we got an armored rifle platoon wow an armored rifle platoon comes with a lot of stuff comes with rifle teams bazooka teams Machine guns, mortars, two half tracks with 50s, and three half tracks with 30s. It says six rifle teams. I think this box only comes with five rifle teams, so you're shy of rifle team. Now you could do this one, which is four rifle teams, four bazookas, four half tracks. Two machine guns, two mortars. You could definitely do the bottom one, but you, you need an extra rifle team for that top one, I think. Because I think this only comes with five rifle teams. Okay, and then you got the stats for just the half track. Uh, it's considered a transport. It's got... Now this talks about the infantry, where this really talks about the vehicle. Uh, optional passenger machine gun okay and transport machine gun transport unit transport passengers okay I'm not really sure about all this uh, light machine gun heavy machine gun teams may fire while mounted as passengers unit leader must end movement step I don't get it. And team can carry three infantry teams or one gun team as passengers. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then veteran transport, just different stats. And then veteran armored rifle platoon. Okay. Now, if you've never been to any of these videos, what we like to do is kind of just briefly go over what you get in the box. Uh, in general, uh, we don't really focus on rules per se. We focus on the figures and what, you know, is actually in the box. And then once we do a general overview, then we'll zoom in and get a close-up view. But it looks like you get the standard Battlefront USA decals. Um... That's really cool. Now, 
Battlefront decals come with this nice protective film on the front of them. And they're also really thick and durable decals, which I think is uh, a detriment because when you put them on your vehicles, the outline of the decal really shines and stands out. And that's kind of a bad thing. So you got to use different types of decal sets and flat coats and stuff like that. Try to get rid of that. Okay, so let's take a look at these sprues. It looks like... They are two identical sprues, so we'll go over one of the sprues and just understand that there's actually two of them. Uh, the passenger sprues, let's take a quick gander at these guys. Yep, these are five of the same sprue so we'll do the same thing with these we'll look at one but understand that you do have five of them same thing with the half tracks we'll look at one of these and one of these to get all and that'll cover all of the sprues but you do get five of these and five of these okay so just like I said, just general overview, you get one hull uh, with interior, with all the seats and everything. That's sexy. The tracks look really good, unlike in the tracks. Um, okay, now this is something that Battlefront likes to do, and I really love that. It's a, uh, it's the, it's the track. You notice that there are two holes for tracks here and one hole on the other side so that when you get your, uh, track and wheels, you'll see that this has got one nub and this has two nubs and that makes it so there's no way for you to put it on the wrong side. It'll only go on the, the correct side. Uh, this is the winch with the frame around it. Then you got the uh, machine gun ring that goes up on top of the hull. It looks like this is the front windshield in front of the half track there. You got the, there's two different styles it looks like for your um, What do they call that? The bumper, the fender over the front wheels. Uh, I One of them is rounded and smooth and the other one is square. I'd have to do a little research to find which one we're supposed to use. Uh, this is the winch uh, in its own little case. Doesn't have the screen. The front wheels of a half track. Uh, the back doors. Uh, you get two back doors uh, for one half track. But, okay, but they have a different uh, bumper setup. They got either bumpers or no bumpers. I bet you it's uh, either an M2, an M3, or an M5. Uh, had different style of bumpers and so I'd have to just double check to see which one I'm supposed to use um, and then there's your uh, the little mount to hold your uh, machine gun ring and then there's two different machine guns you got the M250 cal and then you got the uh, the 30 cal, right? And you get two of each of those. Not really sure why you have two unless they're, you know, giving you that extra one just in case one breaks. Um, actually, hang on. Isn't there a setup where you can, yep, uh, I'm just looking at this guy right here. There's a setup on this guy 
where he's got machine guns on the sides. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere else in any of the pictures. And I don't see it being displayed on the assembly, but I think there are, I think they call them passenger machine guns, where they can be mounted on the sides. I don't see anywhere where you can mount them. There's no place to plug them in and there's no place to plug them in there. But I think there are su such a thing as a passenger machine gun, so we'd have to figure out how that goes. Okay. We'll zoom in on these and take a close look. Uh, looking at the crew, it looks like we got guys, you know, a guy standing with binoculars in one hand and I've got a passenger just sitting. I guess he could be a driver. Got another guy. Looks like he's manning a machine gun. And then, yeah, I'd make him a driver. And then these guys look like they're passengers because they have rifles in their laps. Uh, this guy's got a cocked up helmet. And we're going to definitely take a look at these guys. Uh, when we zoom in okay the infantry uh you get a mortar team here which with a mortar but it says you only get one mortar here right so that's why i do these what's in the boxes because now you know you actually get two mortars so if you have another base another stand Maybe from another collection, you could put a second mortar together if you want. You definitely get the two machine guns, right? The machine guns come as one crew attached to each other at the hip. And then they got the bipod, or I'm sorry, tripod, ammo being loaded, and then the machine gun. So that's, that's a set right there. This guy's got a bazooka shell in his hand. So does he. So there's a couple of bazooka crew members. He's got a bazooka shell in his hand. So you actually get three bazooka men, two standing, one kneeling in this set. So, so again, technically you get six bazooka teams, even though they're showing five bazooka teams. And uh, they show five because that's how many bases they give you and... That's how many bazookas come in their armored rifle platoon for Flames of War. But if you play another game system or something like that, maybe you want those extra bazooka teams. Uh, and then it's just got riflemen doing their thing. Uh, you've got this uh, Thompson kneeling, Thompson standing, Thompson pointing handgun pointing so he's obviously the op an officer uh all riflemen doing their thing yeah remember you get two of these sprues so everything on this sprue is doubled okay let me adjust the focus so that we can bring this in close and take a look at these all right the first thing we're going to look at is the crew sprue There's the guy with the helmet that's all canted and cantilevered. And then there's the other passenger. I'm trying to keep it in the light. There you go, so you can see it. And then flip this over. This guy looks like he's on a machine gun. He's got one foot up on the chair, it looks like. This guy, I would think, would be the driver. And then there's an officer pointing...
and then the back sides of these guys. Okay. So just thinking of this, I could take either one of these guys and mix and match and maybe put them in a Jeep. Or maybe if I had enough of them, I could put them in the back of a Deuce and a half or something. And it looks like since I get five sprues of them, I'll have quite a quite a collection of them. Okay, we're going to look at the half track right now up close. Okay, so this is the hull, right? Uh, but really the only detail of the hull is the sides. Got the little shovel there. Got a little gas can or water can right there. You got the uh, tire. You got the little groove for your um, fender. Notice these two little spots for the tracks and then on the other side you get one uh, now sitting inside of this would be this piece right here a lot of detail um, I'm seeing three seats in the front oh, that's interesting and then there's a hole in the center which would be to uh, which would be to hold up the uh, ring mount right here. Okay, there's the, the winch with the bumper. There's your tracks. That's the inside of the windshield. And that's the outside of the windshield that um yeah viewports where the drivers and the passenger can see out okay and then this is the second half of that sprue where you've got those these are both inner doors right the inside they both look exactly the same but quite a bit of detail you got door door handles and stuff like that but if you look at the back side of them, you see that this has these have bumpers and a trailer hitch, or this does not, right? The door is pretty much the same, but the way they got the uh, tail lights and the way they got the bumpers is a big difference. All right, and then there's the fenders that I was talking about. You got the rounded ones over here, and then you got these squared off ones on this side. I'm not sure which is which. I would have to do the research on that. And then you got your front wheels. You got your second winch. So, winch, not winch. <laughs> then there's your two 50 cals and your two 30 cals. And then there's the peg that holds up the uh, ring mount for your machine guns. All right, last but not least, two sprues of infantry. Um, and you, so you're going to get two light mortars, you know, with these crew members. Oh, they do. Okay. Yeah, let's look at this from the backside real quick. Um, this is something that I've noticed that uh, Battlefront does with their Flames War miniatures. On the sprue themselves, they'll put a little letter underneath letting you know what kind of a soldier that is. So like M means it's part of the mortar team. It's a mortar, obviously. and then But he's part of the mortar team and he's part of the mortar team. Okay, so you got mortars. And then this guy obviously is an NCO, and he's an R, which is a rifleman. And then BZ is bazooka. Both of these guys are bazooka men. But he's also an NCO, NCO, but he's the officer. And the officer's got a handgun. And then, you know, down here he got more bazooka men, riflemen, all the way across. Okay.
So that just helps you out to figure out which ones are going to be put on what kind of a base and stuff. But look at the quality. Uh, look at the detail of a 15 millimeter miniature. That's really good. Now these round bases are made specifically to fit down in those holes of those round movement bases so that they would be flush so that you don't have to putty them to get the figure to be on on level with the ground because when that base sits down inside that hole then he, beco he basically becomes flush and these figures are actually a, a pleasure to paint i painted quite a bit of the other ones the uh abs soft plastic ones uh, but these look like they retained quite a bit more of the detail and there's very little flash on the hard plastic. I'm actually uh, excited. Even the bazookas look, they look kind of big for bazookas, but that's okay. Uh, I actually like um, my weapons to be out of scale. I like them to be slightly larger than they're supposed to be, mainly to help me with my bad eyes uh, look down at the figure base and know what each of those guys are carrying. Okay, now something about these guys, I don't see any BARs. That's not a thing. Okay, wait, did I miss a row? Yeah, they're all M1 Garands. I didn't see any uh, I didn't see any carbines and I didn't see any BARs all right last thing before we let you go I didn't I wanted to point something out that I thought I was hoping to see in this package and I did not on this picture uh, remember you see this vehicle has the passenger machine guns optional on the sides I don't know how to mount those. If uh, I might have to drill a hole in the little uh, container spots because the, the vehicle has these little container uh, crew accessory storage areas on the side. And it looks like they would be mounted inside that. But this piece right here, it looks like a rolled up rope or something on the side of this vehicle. I didn't see that anywhere in the package, so that might have been just an extra accessory that they had uh, from one of their other sets uh, that they put on there. Th that is not in the box. All right, guys, thanks for coming out and looking at the Armored Rifle Platoon U.S. Army Late War for Flames of War in 15 millimeter. If you like videos like this where I show off different box sets or miniatures or painting ideas or anything like that please like this video subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit the notification icon so that you can be notified anytime i upload any new vi uh, videos all right thanks for coming out and checking this out and i'll see you next time